For our second stop today, we are entering Boston, Massachusetts. In Boston, Massachusetts, it is a harbor town, which you can see here means that it is on the water. A harbor is an, an area of water similar to like a bay, what we learned earlier in this year. Boston is in the colony of Massachusetts. It is a major port city. That means that there are lots of harbors and ports where boats come in and out to trade goods. Here we see Boston circled on the map. It is right along the Atlantic Ocean. Here we have an image of Boston, and this is Boston from when it was during colonial times. You can tell by the way that people are dressed and by the style of ships that are moving in and out of the harbor. There are a couple of things that I want to point out about the city of Boston. This is Boston Harbor, which as I said, a harbor is a place like a parking lot for boats where they can come in and out, trade their goods, make money, and then move on to their next port. Boston was a major port in New England. The next thing I wanna point out are the hills that are all around Boston. You can see in the front of the image where the people are, there are some hilly terrain. Terrain is like a fancy word for land. You can also see way back in the distance where it looks like there might be a Capitol building or something that is also on a hill. The last thing I want to point out are all of the ship ports. Again, a port or a harbor is like a parking lot for boats. The next thing we need to discuss are some of the elements of the geography of Boston and Massachusetts and New England um, in all. First thing I want to point out is how rocky their soil is. Notice that all along these um, harbors and along the water, it's not sandy beaches or soil, it's rocks. This made farming very difficult for people in New England. The next thing to point out is what we would call a jagged coastline. Notice how the coastline kind of goes out and in and around and there's rocks and you could see a rock formation over here. Because that coastline was so jagged and um, irregular and not smooth, it meant that ships needed lighthouses and things when it was dark so that they wouldn't crash into the coast without realizing it. There are lots of elements of the geography of New England. Um, what I would like for you to do now is fill in your observations for marker number two on your observation sheet. <laughs> 